What's happening everyone? My name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. So for today we have an action camera that's a few months old but even like that it offers amazing value. So first of all it costs around $130 and it can record in real 4K. So yes, real 4K recordings. This is called the DIT5E and I'm not sure if I pronounced the name right. For specs, we have the Umbrella A12 LS75 processor and we also have the Sony IMX117 image sensor. So these are the exact same specs that we've seen for the SJ Cam SJ7 a couple of weeks ago. And the image quality is actually very very similar as well. Let's start with a quick unboxing. The camera comes in a rather small and simple box. Um, on the sides we see the brand name and turning the box around we are gonna see the specifications. Inside we are gonna find the camera and the waterproof case. The waterproof case looks just like all the other waterproof cases that we've seen for past um, action cameras from China and the manufacturer suggests that it's good um, up to 30 meters in the water. However, I didn't actually go swimming with it so I can't really tell if that's true or not. But I was able to put um, the waterproof case in water and the water doesn't seem to get inside. And aside from that, we are going to find the user manual. The user manual is in English and a whole bunch of other languages and it's got a whole bunch of pictures and instructions. And moving on, we are also going to find the second battery. So this is an 1100 milliamp battery and uh, a few accessories. But compared to other action cameras that we've seen from China, this one doesn't actually come with that many accessories. Just like the SJ7, this camera has image stabilization, but you cannot use the image stabilization when recording in 4K, so you can only use it whenever you're recording at 1080p. And here is an example of the image stabilization on and the image stabilization off. And as you've seen, the image stabilization works okay, but not spectacular. It was the same case with the SJ Cam SJ7. The camera itself is made out of plastic entirely, and even though it doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't feel premium either. So on the front we have the power button, we also have two LEDs, one of them is for um, the Wi-Fi, and one will show you whenever the camera is recording, and we also have the lens. And moving to the top, there we have the recording button or the OK button and that also lights up whenever we are recording something. And aside from that, we have the microphone. And since we are talking about the microphone, of course, I want to show you some samples uh, so you can see how the microphone sounds. What's happening, everyone? This is our first microphone test with this new camera that I'm um, trying out. The microphone's volume is set to 80% and uh, this window is also open. So this is how uh, the microphone sounds uh, in these conditions. This is our second microphone test. I'm recording from behind the camera. We are recording at 1080p at 60 frames per second and the stabilization is also on. And as you've heard, the internal microphone sounds decent but not exceptional. Now moving to the left hand side of the camera, there we are going to find the micro USB charging port. We also have a slot for an SD card, the HDMI out, the speaker and a port for an external microphone. Unfortunately, I didn't have a microphone that fits, so I couldn't try it out um, to see if it actually works or not. This camera can take SD cards to up to 64 gigs and it can also record while charging and um, therefore we have that um, car mode as well, so you could use this as a dash cam. And moving to the right hand side of the camera, there we have a button up and one down and uh, if you press the one up, you can actually turn off the microphone um, recordings. And at the bottom we have a little plastic door and you can open that so you can actually remove the 1100 milliamp battery. Now talking about the battery, you can get about 50 minutes of recording at 4K and about an hour and a half recording at 1080p. So decent time but average and just like all the other action cameras that we've seen on the channel. The 2 inch screen on the back of the camera is better than a lot of other cheaper Chinese action camera but still not perfect so the viewing angles aren't the best and the screen doesn't seem to get that bright so if you're in direct sunlight it's gonna be a bit difficult to actually see the screen. And we are moving to one of the most important aspects of any action camera and of course that is the video quality. And now I wanna show you some samples that I recorded during the day. <laughs>
quick close-up test to these two butterflies that are flying around here we have one right there <laughs> and it's gone is it? oh it's right there And you've seen a mix of 4K and 1080p recordings um, and they all look really really good, mostly the 4K ones which are very very crispy. Now let's check out some recordings that I've done at night time. And as you've seen, nighttime recordings look good, but not exceptional, but that's quite normal for pretty much all cameras um, available. Well, unless you have like a $50,000 camera, but um, we don't have those cameras um, around here. Now, the only exception was 1080p at 60 frames per second, and we had the exact same thing happening with the SJ Cam SJ7. So all the recordings done at night at 1080p at 60 frames per second are very, very dark. So that is unfortunate, but it is um, what it is. Now let's check out some pictures that I took with this camera. The picture quality is decent but not absolutely exceptional. This camera can also do time lapses and I want to show you a quick time lapse that I've done with it yesterday. You can also connect a remote control to this camera, however I don't have one and I couldn't try it out. And this camera also has Wi-Fi so it can make a Wi-Fi network and you can connect to it um, with your smartphone. You have to download the app from either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and once you have the app installed you can just open it and connect to the camera. Once you are connected you can see everything that the camera sees right on your smartphone and of course you can change all the settings that you have available on the camera. So if you want to change the video resolution you can change that, if you want to change the picture size you can also do that. If you want to see what you have on the camera so whatever it's saved on the SD card you can also do that from your smartphone and you can actually download everything from the camera right onto your smartphone. So very very convenient. This works good up to like 10 meters away from the camera after that it tends to disconnect. The camera is also very easy to use so we have the power button on the front and that's also a mode button. As soon as you turn on the camera it's gonna start in the video recording mode you press that button once it's gonna go in the picture um, taking mode you press it again you can see whatever pictures you have and you press it one more time and you get into the menu. In there of course we have access to changing um, the video resolution and this camera supports a whole bunch of resolutions including 1080p at 120 frames um, per second if I remember correctly. Aside from that you can change the picture size, you can turn off the LEDs uh, from the camera because we have some LEDs um, on the camera and those can uh, actually be turned off. You can turn on the car mode and a whole bunch of other settings. 
And it's time to conclude this video. So for its price for about $130, this camera offers amazing value and you've seen how nice the recordings are as well. So if you're looking for a good action camera, this could be the one. It uh, takes an external microphone and that's gonna help if you are uh, planning to talk um, to the camera. So it's definitely a good camera to get for um, its price. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.